In today's show, we will have a story about the blood drive. The Freshman, the freshman Podcast. Very hard on their podcast. And Fine Arts. Fine Arts Showcase is put on by different... I'm Jake. And I'm Savannah. Hey, Savannah, have you heard of the, uh, are you old <laughs> enough to give blood yet? No, I'm not. L that's too bad. Let's go over to Emma to learn more about the upcoming blood drive. The blood drive is a semesterly event that is occurring on March 22nd this year. It is open to students 16 years or older. Every student willing to participate will need to submit a signed permission slip. Sign-up tables will be set up at lunch after spring break, and sign-up sheets can be found in government teachers' rooms or with Mr. Riley. Mr. Riley and a few students who have donated blood in the past share their feelings about giving blood. It's one of the things that pretty much anybody can do that is just really immensely helpful. Um, there is always a need for blood when people have accidents or when there's surgeries or all sorts of different situations where blood is necessary. Well, it goes to a good cause and then like just knowing you've saved someone else's life is kind of nice to know. and. Just eat a lot of food before you do it, because otherwise you might pass out. Uh, it's not as bad as you think it is. It's, it's not that painful at all. And uh, it's not as scary. And when you're done, you feel pretty good about yourself. You can now say that you've donated blood. Definitely make sure you eat something right after, because a lot of people don't feel very good. Um, and then just follow the advice that the people who are helping with the blood drive give you. And take a sticker, because they're really cute. <laughs> Make sure to sign up if interested. Do you know about the Freshman Podcast? Yeah, I've been working on one. Cool, me too. Let's learn more about it. The Freshmen have been working very hard on their podcast unit. They are now in the process of creating their own podcast, some of which will be submitted to the National Podcast Radio Contest. Let's learn some more about it. I think it's going well so far. Uh, they respond well to the fact that it, they have a lot of choice in what they listen to and how they learn. Um, and, and I enjoy seeing uh, a lot of their interests come uh, to the surface through this project. Uh, my favorite part about this podcast union is probably the fact where we get to choose what kind of podcast we want. I think my favorite part is that we get, a, we get to choose um, like what topic we want to do and like we have the freedom to choose um, like anything we want. There will be many different kinds of podcasts because the freshmen are able to choose the topic of their podcast, if they want to do it with a partner, and how to get interviews and other information. Uh, what I chose was uh, places you want to go, and I'm thinking about interviewing my family members and just talking about what places we would want to go in our lifetime, what we would do. So we're doing basically like the pros and cons of homework and like what people's perspective is on homework and like we're going to interview teachers, students, and see how um, everyone thinks about it. I know there's one on conspiracy theories that I thought was kind of, it's a little bit cheesy, it makes me a little bit nervous, but it's also like I could tell that kid was really excited about it and it was, that was just neat to see. Some students will have the opportunity to submit their podcast to the NPR podcast contest. Uh, we're really excited about it and we feel like it makes things that we do in class a little bit more real world and we're able to publish and, uh, and make a little bit of competition is a good thing too. Make sure to wish the freshmen luck. Now for the announcements. The Writing Center will be closed after school tomorrow. Tomorrow is the deadline to install the new computer update. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office will be issuing tickets for those not buckled up. There are many new scholarship opportunities available. Check the counselors' websites for more. The Fine Arts Showcase is coming up. Over to Aiden with more. This Thursday night, the Fine Arts Showcase was put on by different art classes around the school. Generally, the art teachers, we, we kind of handpick uh, some of the works that are exemplary, uh, that are created in class for the show. Uh, oftentimes, in our advanced classes, we'll ask students, too, if they you know, would like to put any work in the show. You know, a big part of being an artist and producing work is is sharing that with the world or, uh, you know, putting it on exhibition. So especially with our advanced students, uh, I think the sooner that they have those opportunities and realize the impact 
they can have on uh, an audience with with work, uh, you know, the better. Audrey said that this night was very important to get their work out there and that they had a great time. Yeah, we had a great turnout. Uh, We're real thankful to parents and uh, students who took the time to come out and uh, community members. Uh, I don't know that we had a head count, but boy, there were several times where we looked down the hallway and there were uh, several families, uh, you know, viewing art and enjoying the night. The Fine Art Showcase was a great night for both artists and the people enjoying their work. Uh, you know, I just, uh, I think we're, we're so thankful again for the time and effort our students invest in their work. And uh, we look forward to what's to come. And, uh, you know, we're continuing to give our students, uh, I think, more and more extracurricular activities for the arts. And uh, we look forward to that. If, if you haven't taken an art class and you're a Siemens student, uh, we'd love to have you in our visual art classes. So, thanks. Make sure to go check it out. Afterglow will take place April 13th, and we are in need of parent volunteers. Check Schoology for more information. Everyone is welcome to shop at the Topeka North Prom Closet at Northland Christian Church. On Saturday, March 23rd, the Seaman Art Department will host an all-day art field trip to Wichita. The Viking Brew is offering punch cards for students who are often customers. Northrop Grumman's is offering opportunity, opportunities for STEM. Check Schoology for more information. Volunteers are needed to help host the Middle School Scholars Bowl meet on April 3rd. Now over to Savannah's Sports. Seaman softball apparel is now available. Cheerleading trial materials are due March 21st. Tryouts will be held March 23rd. The Lady Vikes will be traveling down to Emporia today. Admission cost is $8 for adults and $6 for students. Congratulations to our men and women's bowling teams. Seaman landed four on the 4 on the 2018-2019 All-City Wrestling second team with nine members earning honorable, honorable mention. Now over to Josh with the weather. All right, all right. Tomorrow is the final day of the third quarter. So let's take a look at the weather we're going to be experiencing over the next few days. Overall, it's a pretty quiet weather pattern. The first system missing us to the north. Another one kind of skips us. Hit us is coming up on Friday night and early Saturday morning. The system trending a little bit faster. There's still a chance for some thunderstorms. Here's the picture by 6 a.m. Saturday morning. You can see some moderate to heavy rainfall. However, the severe potential likely going to stay off to our southeast. So Missouri, Arkansas, and points to the southeast likely to have the greatest severe weather potential on Saturday. Still, some showers and thunderstorms around here throughout the morning hours. Let's check out the seven-day forecast. You can see that Saturday comes along with 53 degrees. It will be windy, and notice Saturday night temperatures crash back down into the 20s. Already tracking our next weather maker by next Tuesday. Now, back to your anchors. That's all for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we'll hear more about eggs, battle of the bands, and what students, are, what students' plans are for spring break. Have a great day, Vikes. Mm -hmm.